Shouldn't be a bad little walk compared to what we've done back in the Karajini and a few other spots. That one will be a walk in the park. Brand new surf life saving club going up in Broome. Good morning. Well, we made it to Broome, all right. We're down at the main beach. It's uh, a little after 10 o'clock in the morning. There's a lot of people down here already. You can drive on the beach. Um, after a certain time, you're not allowed to drive to my left, but down to the right, you can. I'll show you that in a minute. There's uh, camel rides going on. There's three different levels of camel rides you can go on here. They've all got different colored harnesses on, yellow, red, and blue, for where you want to go, how long you want to go, and what tour you're on. So, um, yeah, it's nice down here this morning. The sand here is um, really hard, so there's no need to even drop your tire pressures. It's, um, it's very, very hard here, and very rocky up the other end flat rocks, you just drive up and over them, so it's no stress. They have uh, they have a very long tide here. Like, it's uh, it's over 150 feet long. It's a very long tide. Most tides are, you know, within 50 feet. But the beaches here are gorgeous. But there is a few people that I wanted to shout out and say good day to. I've been back through a lot of messages and that today and uh, both on YouTube and on my phone and all that. I don't check them all every day. It just becomes uh, a bad habit. So it really takes the enjoyment out of the day, actually, when you're traveling around, you're on and off your phone all day. So I try not to do it, but there is a few people I want to say good day to. And it's um, Averley down in Perth. How are you, darling? I hope you're going well and uh, got over your COVID and all that sort of stuff. Uh, who else is there? Darren Wilson, your message is a good fun, mate. Thank you. Uh, Reese and Jen and Hunter, hope you guys are all going well. Down there in, uh, not in Bali, it's um, just out of town there anyway. You know where you live, I'm just trying to think of the name. I always get it mixed up with in Bali, but anyway. Corey and Taylor up in Darwin will be up there in two weeks, guys, to see us and hopefully be there to pick us up from the airport when you come back from uh, from Bali. Half your luck. Uh, there's also Maddie Cullen, and thanks again, my friend. We miss you from down at uh, Tom Price. Tom Price was uh, definitely a big highlight in our trip, and we've got you to thank for that. Thanks, buddy. But I'll see you back in G-Town in you know around Christmas time. So, Seth and Jackson. Man, are you guys living the dream and tripping around? And I know Jacko, you've just been, this is my son's by the way. Um, Jacko's just flown back in from Greece. He's been in Europe, been to about six or eight different countries. Um, I know you would have enjoyed yourself, Jacko, well done. And Seth on the new job and, you know, moving away and uh, getting paid that bit extra to do your career, mate. Good achievement, well done. And, uh, I hope to see us in Darwin in a few weeks if that works out. So, looking forward to that. Yes, I've got your names all written down on my legs because uh, I've got no hope of remembering who I haven't said hello to. So, please forgive me. I have written it all on my leg. Hence, you won't be able to tell. No one will be able to tell the difference with the, with the ink that I already have on my legs. So, a bit of humour. Miller, stand strong, my friend. I hope you're going well and. Uh, the new job will come your way soon, mate. It's probably a little bit of a stressful time in life when you lose one job and you get to the unknown part of life. And Some people call it a midlife crisis, mate, but I know how strong you are. You're a gentleman. I think very highly of you. And uh, you'll be back working again before you know it, mate. You'll be wondering what you're worried about. So good luck with everything, Milan. You're a good fella. Adam Page and family down in Tasmania. Hello to you all. And we'll be in Tassie early next year to see you guys. Um, Jess and Caleb up in Perth, or can't say Perth now, he's just shifted to, um, to Kalgoorlie for work. So and he's got a new house and 
The bike's going well, Caleb, and I uh, hope you guys have settled in well. All the best. Um, oh, and Grant, of course. I hope Grant's watching the odd movie and watching Mum. Oh, and by the way, it's Margaret's birthday today. Happy birthday, darling. Oh. I just remembered the date. <laughs> That's okay. Happy birthday. Thank you. And I'll make it as special as I can for you. What are you going to cook me for today? We'll have a ball yeah. either way. There's no doubt. But let me just read these other names here. As if our IT man back in Geelong, head of Telstra in Geelong, you're a champion, mate. It's always good talking to you when you ring or when I ring. And, uh, yeah, g'day to you and your family and your kids, mate. I hope you are all well. Uh, Lee, my drone man in uh, Albany. G'day, buddy, and I hope you're going well with your movies and your uh, YouTube channel as well, mate. I see you've got a lot more people on your channel than what we have, and uh, I'm sure you're going well. So I'll talk to you soon, Lee. Dale Morgan in Darwin. We're there in two weeks, mate, and I'll probably uh, see you within three weeks down at Corroboree. And those of you that don't know where Corroboree is, it's a little bit, it's a couple of hours south of Darwin and inland towards Kakadu. So I've been there before and Dale, we'll see you in a few weeks, mate. Uh, Daniel Cook and family. I hope Hunter's not stressing you out too much, Daniel. And I uh, hope you got your new job going all right, mate. And you're a happy man. And we will we'll burn rubber over summer, mate, on our bikes. There's no doubt about us. No doubt about that. And it'll be a lot of fun. So, yeah, all good, mate. Jason and Sabina Thomas out there in Bano. I hope you got your car fixed, Jason. I hope you guys are going well. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch up over summer and we'll have heaps of fun. There's no doubt about that. Uh, who else was there, Mark? Michael O'Brien in Corio, one of my good mates. Um, Michael, the bike, the boat's still going well, mate. We've had it off, I think, five times on this trip, and uh, it's been a very handy little asset to have. It takes us to places that we wouldn't normally see or film, so thank you, and I uh, look forward to catching up with you, and I know you've got a new dirt bike and everything, and uh, the dirt dirt bike riding activities will be fantastic um, obviously from now on but when I get back and we organise rides and we all get out there and we all have fun and a few barbies and a few froffies you know how it goes so I look forward to catching up to you Mick um, who else was there Kurt and Cohen hope you guys are going well Kurt I see all your posts on Facebook and everything and uh, it's good to see mate I mean if we had more dads like you, there would be a lot less stress and drama on planet Earth. You are doing a fantastic job. My heart's out there for you, mate. Anything we can do for you, whatever, but you don't need us. I know that you're a strong man and what you're doing for your son is second to none. It's brilliant. And hello to your mother as well. Um, yeah, so we'll catch up and ride when I get home, mate. I can't wait to see you again, uh, Kurt. Cactus, my cousin over in uh, Narracourt. I know you're watching some of the films, mate, and uh, you know, I hope your legs aren't giving you too much grief. And uh, when I get back, I've got guys lined up. We're gonna come over to Narracourt. We're gonna pick up your Harley and your sidecar. And uh, we're gonna give it a birthday for you, mate. We're gonna get it going for you, paint it, make it all work, so that when we bring it back, you can actually ride it and enjoy it. Stan Kenny, Christine from Sketch Stan Kenny, thanks for doing my tax a couple of days ago on the phone. I appreciate it. Nice little uh, kick back in the bank. That'll be nice. So I hope you guys at Stan Kenny's are all going well as well. All the new subscribers, thank you for jumping on our channel. Really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the footage. Uh, Luke, Luke and family, Alex and the kids, uh, you know, Sad to hear about your house getting flooded out, but and, oh, I know you've just been overseas and uh, had a ball and hopefully put all that behind you, but you'll be back on top of it before you know it. And from Margaret and I, we wish you all the best. We'll ride, we'll ride together soon, Luke. As soon as I get back, mate, we'll all be uh, reconvening and start riding again. Troy Pyle, 
I heard you going bigger with your cubes, mate. Another motor for your bike. Wow. How far can you go? But anyway, that's another story. But I hope you're going well too, mate. You and your boys and the family and everyone's going well. And I miss riding with you all. Margaret, can you think of um, anybody else that we had to say hello or anything to? Okay. Is, um... Oh, Paul Majanovic, our auto elect, who is what I'm not capable of doing. He's always been there for me. We call him Coops, he's, an, he's a legend. And um, Paul, thank you very much for the work you've done for Margaret and I over the years. I really appreciate it, mate, and I hope you're going well and not working too hard, because you are by far the biggest workaholic that I know. I know that you've done uh, many a 24 hour shifts and you're still doing 15 and 18 hour days, mate. It's too much, but it's not my call, it's yours, but we're thinking of you. See you, buddy. Brendan down in Tim Boone. A big thank you for the work you've done for both my sons and uh, I hope the farm's going well mate. I heard that you've had a lot of rain and it's flooded down there so um, yeah push through mate and I'm sure you'll be okay but just saying good day to you Brendan and thank you. And Fletcher over at Gippsland. I haven't forgotten about you buddy. We'll catch up when Margaret and I get back to Geelong. All the best to all of you. Here's the other end of Cable Beach in uh, in Broome. So there's a few little activities going on here where you can hire all the boards and um, all that sort of stuff. People have got their little trolleys to get over this first soft bit of sand, but um, the beaches here are very nice. You only have to go out, I don't know, 50 or 80 feet and it's above your waist, but the water here is crystal clear. It's very nice. You can see the rocks right up the other end there. That's where a lot of four-wheel driving goes on. A lot of people park around the corner to watch sunset. The sunset's actually straight over there. And uh, yeah, there's a little area around the side there that's quite pretty where everybody parks. So all the best and we'll bring you another adventure this afternoon. See you guys. Big happy birthday to, to Margo. Well, that was inevitable. I was bound to forget somebody, but uh, hello to Alex and Stacy out there and Lara looking after me, uh, me new old Chevy Ute. And uh, I'm sure he's looking after it. It's all tucked away there for when I get home to play with. But uh, I hope you guys are going well out there in Lara. Yeah, Peter Smith out in, um, in Maud. How are you, brother? I know you're watching the odd thing or two, but uh, good on you. It'd be good to, good to ride with you again soon, mate. And Mr. Rick, it looks like we've got some hardcore competition with our bikes, mate. Troy's running reasonably good times, and, uh, you know, I know your bike's a beast, and now Troy's going bigger again on the engine, so I hear, and I hope he was keeping that a secret, and I hope I just let the cat out of the bag, because... Uh, yeah, I don't know, that man's got too much money. But that's all good. Uh, between his bike, your bike, and mine running a bit of that gas in its veins, um, we're going to have a lot of fun, that's for sure. So big g'day to all of you. All the best. So we just done that little bit of footage up the beach, and there was one other thing that I wanted to fit in that film about arriving at Broome. So... I know I mentioned it is Margaret's birthday and she's very happy and she's been getting lots of gifts, believe me, including her new dog over here. If you're, if you're a, uh, a faithful watcher on Aussie Adventures, you would have already seen her new dog. Her new little Frenchie. I don't know. We I think we, we called him uh, Kurt Jr. But... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw in this film how we got to Broome yesterday. There's about eight caravan parks here. One of them is not dog friendly, the rest are. We went to three of them, all booked out, totally booked out. There's even signs out the front, but we still went in hoping that there might have been a cancellation, no good. We rang the rest of them. They're all chock-a-block. There's two overflows here, which is like an areas that they make up to be caravan parks for overpopulated tourism 
and they were both full. There's even churches here with big car parks um, for the overflow problem with tourism and nothing, all totally full. So we heard about this one other park, we went there and they had a site, believe it or not, but no dogs. So anyway, cut a long story short, where I just showed you where they're building that new surf life saving club, the lady at the last caravan park said last year they were letting the over the overflow stay there, which didn't make sense because it was still you know very COVID-ish last year. And uh, but anyway, that's what she said. So we came down here, and there was camper vans and big mobile homes. Big there's a big ocker there. Those ockers are the real big, massive four-wheel drive off-road machines. They're normally white. Some of them are done up custom camo, but most of them are white. But they're a beautiful machine. So anyway, we end up staying here and thank God the ranger didn't come near us because uh, I've had a couple of run-ins with the rangers and they do my head in. There's no compassion there. They don't want to hear what your story is. They don't want to, they don't care. They're programmed to write tickets out and that pisses me off. But anyway, that's rangers and uh, I've just got to steer clear of them and we'll be right. But that's how they work. But um I think they're called would-be, could-be police officers. They're not smart enough to become police officers, so they become rangers, and they've just got something to prove. I don't know why they're so um, ruthless, but maybe that's how they're trained to be. I don't know. I'll never hold it against them because I know I'm a better person than that. I've, I've got probably 10 friends that I talk to on a regular basis in the police force, so I know what the mentality is. They're bloody good people. It's only when you're a clown they come and pick on you. But other than that, yeah, I advocate for the police 100%. And if there's any normal rangers out there, I would advocate for them too. Because some of the campers are dirty. They're leaving their crap laying around and they need a kick in the ass. But uh, that's enough of that crap. But yeah, have big happy birthday to Margaret. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's getting old, but I'll tell you what, she's a bloody good old stick, eh? No, we're having a ball. She's very easy to get along with. I'm very blessed to have Margaret in my life and very, very happy for that. Uh, hello to Al, uh, Margaret's dad. I know you sent her a happy birthday this morning. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, we'll have her back in Geelong for Christmas, mate. Don't worry about that. But, yeah, just wanted to mention the trouble that we had with getting a campsite. And then first thing this morning, I ring the main campground here in the in this morning in Broome because um, a lady we spoke to on the beach here last night tells us her sister cancelled two sites for three nights. They couldn't get into town. So I'm on the phone flat out this morning. Went to message bank, message bank, message bank. I was emailing them, all that sort of stuff. And then the last time I was going to ring, a lady by the name of Helen answered and she answered our prayers. We got a site in Broome for the next three nights. Here, here. <laughs> so I know there's going to be a few people that I've forgot. Shit happens. I've mentioned a lot of people in other films, but if I did forget you, I'm terribly sorry. Shoot me a message, shoot me down and I'll make it happen. But a big hello to my mate, Jason Kelly. Hope you're going well, brother. We'll be riding again summer. Don't worry about that. That was uh, Tony and Heidi. They come over for a chat. We met them yesterday. Absolutely lovely people from Albany. And in yesterday's footage, I spoke about a big ocker. That is what an ocker is. A full off-road, go anywhere in Australia type of vehicle. Well, like I said earlier, we actually got a site for two nights. We're very lucky. Um, luckily, we met a lady that had pulled out. Her sister had pulled out and 
you know, everything happens for a reason. So here we are, we, we got in, in Broome, we're here for a couple of days. So we're here, we're set up, and you would have just seen the swimming pool. It's a nice park. And uh, as soon as we're finished and had a feed, we're gonna do some exploring and we'll bring you some cool footage later on of Broome in WA.